account if you'll see right here we've got this mail and a down arrow if you click on the down arrow you will see contacts go ahead and click on contacts and it's going to take you to a new screen you can see here I really don't have too many contacts the only two contacts I have are myself and the only reason those contacts are showing up is because one of the neat features about Google contacts is that every email address you send to reply to or um, share a document with automatically gets added into your contacts now it pulled in my name because it was local to um, our own domain if you're sending to someone outside the domain and you just send to an email address it's only going to pull in their email address so let's create a new contact and let's just create a generic one for legacy so you can see here you could click and add a picture you could also just go with the company name so let's just add legacy christian academy and you can hit enter and you can see it's going there it tells you which contact group um, it's going to put it in I'm not going to give an email I will put an address in here I will go ahead and add our phone number in 469-633-1330 I'm not going to put a mobile phone if I click on this add button I could look at what else I might add so I'm gonna add a URL because we do have a school website you could add a nickname anything else you wanted to put in you could create a custom field and if you'll notice you can type here so I'm gonna put in our Facebook which is facebook.com slash legacy Christian and now I'm done you can see there's a save now button up here so I will save that now when I click on my contacts I see that legacy Christian Academy is there so let's say that I forgot to add something here and I need to make a change to that there are a couple ways I can do that one is to click put a check mark in the box click more actually I can't edit it from there um, so I need to click on the contact and I'm gonna go down one more and there's no fax number here so you could click add and create a custom field or if you'll notice here next to mobile phone there's a pull down menu so I can put fax in 469-633 1348 and when I hit enter note I can't click the save it automatically saved those changes for me so for your assignment you're going to have to create a contact for Legacy Christian Academy and one of the things you're gonna have to do is send that now if you ever wanted to just email one of your contacts once you find them you can simply click that email Now we didn't enter an email address here so it's not gonna let us do that but let's talk about how to print this is a nice feature if you ever wanted to print your contacts you can print just the selected one your whole group or you could print all three once you hit print it's gonna pull it up in a web page so they would all be there um, in this instance they're not all there but. okay so let's go back to our contacts and again you can still see it's right there if you wanted to delete this contact you didn't need it anymore um, you can find and merge you can restore old ones if you had old ones to restore you can set up groups we may talk a little bit about that later at this time we're not going to to go there so that is a basic overview of contacts